Oh, thank you, Art. And thank you to um, John and Ellen. Um, the rest of the video time show us. After I hope and and um, and, um I hope make this happen. Um thank all of you for uh, for coming and for those of you who don't um uh, who don't know me um, I s cutter, and so that's what this is. Um, and so it'll be um, 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 a, kind of a thickening with the media of speech here. Go at a Elliot or Elliot in my um, my box. Hopefully we can uh, we can all uh, um, embrace it as a. Uh, as a randomizing factor and not um, um, too much of a barrier to um, Erdos and what I'm saying. Um, okay, so here we have a recreation of the original score for something um, by John Cage called Four Minutes of Pictures. Uh, this core here uh, designates this something as a piece of music. And it's got six bars. Um, six measures each and six beats in a measure. Um, I suppose it's even divided into three movements. Uh, we see, however, the measures are all rests. Um, uh, uh, whereas music is just silence. Um, usually when the piece is performed, it's all a, a piano, and it begins and ends with the lifting and the closing of the lid. Um, um, that was meant for um, for all instruments. Um, when this is performed, it's not that the audience hears nothing. What they hear is the sounds in the room, or the sounds of themselves, and each other shifting nervously and whispering and wondering what's happening. Um, and they ought to realize. Um, um, of the framework and the context in which the musical performance happens. Um, and so here we see David Tudor performing the first piece in 1952. Um, and with the wry smile of the um, sharing the joke with us. Um, also, we see him here framed by the microphones um, and the architecture in the background. You yeah, know, and all the apparatus uh, which goes into making this music and making it a, um, a uh, um, um, Performance of all the things we, um, which we expect for a night out to see music, um, and so what this is 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 um, is all the form of music um, emptied out um, and then filled with the random um, um, random sounds of chance um, and. and Contingency, which make each individual instance of a visitor performance unique um, and fleeting and not like any other one. 
um, um, and so therefore with this um, is besides music um, um, is an event or a thing which happens and, and, um, and one of what John Cage would call happenings um, um, Performance is based on the form of music, and then they have a score, uh, which somebody else, not the composer, uh, performs. Um, and then each performance um, um, is um, is unique and different based on on the the. Um, the randomness of happenstance, um, and also the improvisation and interpretation, um, and the reading and misreading by the, um, um, uh, the performer. Uh, um, well, this is um, true of all music, most conventional music, the um, um, the those are strife of um, for fidelity with the original score and the best of uh, performance of the intent. Um, in Cage's work, there's this cut, this, uh, this, this operation of chance um, is embraced and used to um, um, make these. Performances, um, each individual, and none of them um, are the site of the um, of a kind of essence of the art piece. There's no object, and so there's both of these performances, therefore, move from being music into being art. Um, but there's, um, there's a new art which has no objects in it. Uh, the notion of of, um, of motion and um, and the performance art already existed in art um, at this point. Here we um, 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 here we see Jackson Pollock um, engaged. Um, in the practices of um, action painting, where the marks on the um, on the canvas become the index of a um, of, um, a moment in time and a motion of the body. Um, in this case, however, the um, the objects. Um, are paintings and the marks um, are seen to be the marks of genius or the marks of the uh, of um, the expression of Jackson Pollock. Um, as this, in many ways, um, um, comes out of the uh, the um, impressionist interest in brushwork um, and technique, uh, which here is a bit, um, 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 advanced. Uh, um, and making the painting um, um, uh, into the, the traces of motion and the residue of this um, of this, this act of making it. And so here we see um, the frames from documentary film. Um, But his name is in which Pollock paints on glass just over the um, over the camera, and we see a painting being made. And this, I think, is actually what, like um, one of the most interesting represents um, moments in Pollock's work because the painting he makes in this case um, kind of thankfully goes away, 
that we're left with this um, other documentation of the event. Um, and the marks made are um, are kind of liberated from um, the painting and allowed to be things that should that are these indexes of the motion. Um, in uh, in Cage's work, the object disappears um, um, altogether, and um, and and, um, and his relationship to performance actually comes out of another trend. Here we see a piece he did um, at the Black Mountain College where he worked um, um, as an instructor in the 50s um, and, um, and produced a lot of performances with his friend and partner, Mr. Cunningham, who was a dancer. Um, if this looks not like something you would see in America, um, not in the 50s, is because um, uh, his early work is heavily um, um, influenced by Bauhaus um, and constructivist uh, theater practices. Um, um, which began in the Soviet Union um, as, um, as part of an effort to free the um, the 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 year of representation um, in the way that, um, that constructivist painting has strived to define the pure forms of um, of painting. Um, as this became increasingly integrated with a, a project to radically remake a, um, not just the form of art, but the form of this society in general, um, constructivism was replaced by productivism and this um, effort to move art into the factories and engage with.